Welcome back everybody. It's been a while. Today I'd like to start a new series on the topic of innumeracy based on this book, a national bestseller by author John Allen Paulos, originally published in 1988. He was a professor of math at uh, Temple University in Philadelphia. Now this book is mostly about statistics and probabilities although this first episode will not be about that. I look forward to explaining what he means by innumeracy. It's a very entertaining book as well as being mathematical, so I, I encourage you to get a copy if you can. But today what I want to talk about is powers of 10, 10 to the 3, 10 to the 6, 10 to the 9, 10 to the 12. I'm going to think of that as being in seconds. So of course if I write these powers of 10 in their long form, those are the numbers you get. The, num the exponent is the number of zeros after the one. And I want you to, without calculating anything, try to guess, make a good approximation of how many minutes the first one would be, how many hours and days the second one would be, how many days the third one would be, and how many years the last one would be. Because, as he points out in the book, people do not have a very good grasp of orders of magnitude. They think they do, but they really don't. You could also think of these numbers, especially the last two, as being national debts in dollars. So, you know, what's a billion dollars? What's a trillion dollars? Well, let's give that some thought. So, it turns out that thousand seconds is about 17 minutes. I'm going to use two sig figs. A million seconds is about um, 280 hours or about 12 days. A billion seconds is about 12,000 days. Now the easiest way to get that of course is just multiply 12 days by 1,000 because to go from a million to a billion, I'm multiplying by 1,000, so just multiply that by 1,000. And if you have a trillion seconds, that's about 32,000 years. So if you want to pay off the debt, which in the U.S. is like 30 trillion plus, in Canada it's at least a trillion, that gives you some idea of how long it could take because those are such big numbers. Hard to grasp what a trillion is. Now, another way to look at it is to go from seconds to minutes. You would multiply by, or I should say you just divide by 60. And then to go from here to here, you first of all multiply by 1,000 because I'm adding a thousand times and then divide by another 60 to go from minutes to hours and of course to go from hours to days you would divide by 24 here you just multiply by a thousand and then to go from here to here you multiply by a thousand and divide by the number of days in a year 365 so you can verify those numbers if you like please encourage your friends and family to view my channel and all my videos. I encourage you to get them to subscribe, to like, to comment. I do my best to read all the comments, but it's hard to keep up. Okay, see you next time.